Established in 2006, the project is an example of endurance as it has faced various challenges ranging from a lack of water, closure of the promising fish pond, among many others. Due to the lack of water supply, the pond dried up before members could harvest any fish. Years later, residents of Oikango No. 2 started rebuilding the project one step at a time with the construction of a storeroom and an office space. I would like to encourage my fellow countrymen that hard work is a good thing for yourself and as well as for the community at large. If you are just sitting at home and when your business does not go well, you give up and then you will never succeed in life. This project has gone through so many trials but it has given us an income and we are able to also take care of our families. Hainghumbi says successful business models should not be counted only the number of times one fails, but on the ability to get up and make an even greater business solution to the challenges faced. The project now focuses on vegetables such as tomatoes and spinach for its members' survival. We have various plans for our project to grow in years to come. That building will be fully equipped not only to store our produce, but we can also use it for learners to come and study. We also want to have a library here to promote the culture of reading in our village as well, as to have classes for gardening for those who want to start their own projects. The project has about 34 members.